Look at this fog. It's uh, this right after I just got out of the car from finding my camera from the last video. Um, because I was going to just show you guys the fog and that was it. And then I found out that I didn't have my camera. That's a lot of fog. Really, really deep fog. Come on, camera. Focus, damn it. Thank you. Look at that. It's like kind of like a, a, a mist type of deal where you can actually see particles in the air around light. Uh, we'll see if I if it's still doing that. It was before I had to find the camera for an hour. No, I guess not. It was like really misty through here and you could actually see particles all throughout the air and stuff. It was pretty cool. But that part went away, I guess. Huh. Well, I think in the morning, well not in the morning, but you know, after going to bed and waking up, I think we're finally going to finish my mom's birthday two weeks later uh, and seeing the going to the movies that she was supposed to go to. Apparently this movie theater, um, if you have, if you signed up and you have a birthday coming up, you get a free movie ticket um, that's usable two weeks, the first, the, a week before and a week after your birthday. So that's pretty cool. But uh, it's also more expensive than the other theater too, so you got to take that into account. Because the theater we went to to watch uh, Jurassic World and Inside Out, it's, it only costs three dollars um, for non-3D movies. Add three fifty to it for 3D, and after 4 p.m., add a dollar. Uh, but this movie theater that's close by is $8 non-3D, $11 3D before 6 p.m. After 6 p.m., it's like $11 non-3D and then $13 3D. It's crazy the way that things work, but at the same time, that, that's pretty normal for those prices, the $8 and 11 It's pretty normal for theaters. The $3 one is... is uh, a blessing when you when we can actually make it there because it's it takes a while to get there but still it's right near her doctors too so that one is the cheap one anyway I'll see you uh, well you'll see me in a second excuse me you call me butthole <laughs> where so we're getting x-rays first. Well, the x-ray CD that you already got. Thomas, if you don't tell me where to turn. I don't know where to turn. You'd be so pissed. I don't know where to turn. We'll figure it out, right? Point two. At the square, Tom. At the something. Really? That? Uh-oh. That's Western Ando. You put Thank it in the wrong you, thing. Thank you, you butthole. What the heck? So we just had fun trying to find that imaging place, huh? Oh. I didn't record any of the back road bullshit. That was Holy hell. shit, that back road. That, somehow the GPS knew that one though, I don't understand. But it doesn't know if you, you, you have a place and what, you go in a parking lot and they're like, you're here. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you want to eat something or not? Oh my God, I totally forgot. Yes, I'm starving. Why well, are you gonna come back in or something? There's, we're not gonna have time. I'm gonna piss my pants. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. Uh, oh shoot, I can't bring the water either. Come on, Thomas. I'm here. Quite a lot of bumps and stuff on that road. That was crazy. Then we had to turn around because the road was flooded. We didn't know how deep the thing was. We didn't, or if the car would get stuck. So then we had to turn around and she had to do it very, very, very carefully because there was a big drop off that the car would have got stuck in. Finally found the place. 
And the theater wound up being right next to it. Did I love this one? Yeah, I think so. stomach had to bother me the first half of the movie so I was miserable but um I still I didn't miss any of it and it was really good it was different than what I thought it was gonna be though um which isn't a bad thing but like with the advertisements on TV and stuff they made it out to be to seem like it was going to go into a completely different direction than what it actually was. Um, but again, that's not a bad thing. It was a, it was still a pretty good movie. Um, it was just different, which I guess is a good thing because a lot of people complain when, um, when the advertisements and stuff wind up giving away too much of the movie. Uh, so, you know, you're pretty much spoiled just by the advertisements. This movie does not get spoiled at all by any TV advertisements. So, uh, that's good. It was a good movie, like any Disney movie. I don't think Disney's made a bad movie yet. Um, and I hope that their success continues. Um, and a great movie. Hopefully we can also make the, uh... Life with Pets movie, because that movie looks like it's going to be really good as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Milky. No